आई थिंक इट्स द राइट टाइम दैट आई टेल ऑल दी स्टूडेंट्स जो देख रहे होंगे इसको कि सुमित ने जो एग्जाम क्लियर किया है हिस्स स्ट्रैटेजी इज वेरी क्लियर वेरी शार्प और ये प्योर हार्डवर्क के बेसिस पे है और मैं बहुत सारे इंटरव्यूज लेता हूँ तो आई कैन फिगर आउट कि भाई किस स्टूडेंट ने कितना हार्डवर्क किया है किस स्टूडेंट ने कितना स्मार्ट वर्क बोल लीजिए या फिर बोल लीजिए कि उनका बैकग्राउंड है बहुत स्मार्ट रहे हैं हमेशा से तो निकलना ही निकलना था किस स्टूडेंट को एग्रीकल्चर की नॉलेज थी या फिर इंडियन इकोनॉमी बहुत साल से पढ़ता आ रहा है कौन सा स्टूडेंट यू वाला है तो ये सारे ही खूबियाँ इन इनमें नहीं थी बड़ी वन देन ही क्लियर थी एग्जामिनेशन प्योरली बेस्ड अपॉन इज हार्डवर्क तो ये एक दो साल की इसको तपस्या बोल लीजिए इसको हार्डवर्क बोल लीजिए डेडिकेशन बोल लीजिए वट एवर यू वॉन्ट कॉल इट बट इट पेज ऑफ इट पेज ऑफ इज समॉन दी अदर वे इन्होंने तैयारी करी आर को लेके सिलेक्शन हुआ है नाबार्ड में बट इट हैज पेड ऑफ ओके तो आप तैयारी करेंगे मेहनत करेंगे अपने आप से ऑनेस्टली पूछिए आज कि क्या मैं अपना 100% परसेंट दे रहा हूँ नहीं दे रहा हूँ इफ यू आर नॉट डूइंग दैट दैट मीन्स देर इज अ स्कोप ऑफ इम्प्रूवमेंट सो स्टार्ट डूइंग दैट स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन दैट Hi guys my name is Anuj Chindal welcome to my channel Today I have with me Mr Sumit Kumar who has cleared NABARD examination in the year 2021 Sumit is just 24 years old so he is probably too young to join these kind of organizations but yes it's a very difficult task and it's a great achievement that he has achieved this year Aisa nahi hai ki Sumit ka first attempt tha Sumit has given other examinations also aur bahut sare failures ke baad ye success unke hath laga hai so we'll be talking about the do's and don'ts we'll be talking about how it feels to have cleared the examination at such a young age kya unhone sahi cheeze ki kya unhone galtiyan kari jisse unhone sikha and exactly what worked for him and what kind of advice would he like to give to you first of all congrats sumit on clearing the exam thank you so much thank you so much bahut acha lag raha hai ki itne young age mein itni kam age mein आपने इतना बड़ा एग्जाम क्लियर किया है इट्स एक्चुअली अ वेरी गुड अचीवमेंट थैंक यू सो मच सर एंड रियली फील्स वेरी 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 गुड टॉकिंग टू यू एंड सिटिंग ऑन द अदर साइड ऑफ कैमरा थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक्स सर लॉट थोड़ा अपने बारे में स्टूडेंट्स uh, को बताओ सो दैट दे कैन अंडरस्टैंड वट काइंड ऑफ बैकग्राउंड यू हैव आपने एजुकेशन क्या किया उसके बाद काम किया कि नहीं किया वेन डी डू स्टार्ट योर प्रिपरेशन वो सारी चीजें थोड़ा सा आई ग्रेजुएटेड इन टू and did my btech in uh, from cluster innovation center university of delhi in it and mathematics and after i made my mind third year only that i will be giving regulatory body examinations i tried for rbi first just after graduating and i could not make it to the list in the pre itself and that was the biggest failure i guess after the graduation first time and i learned a lot of things what to study what to not what not to study how to approach the examinations and then after i then again went for the save in 2020 and so then no examination happened then finally in 2021 i appeared for nabard and so uh, long journey of pre mains and interview i uh, cleared finally the nabard and i i am a fresher and actually i didn't have any work experience so that's so uh, work experience nahi tha Uh, we had talked about this also work experience nahi tha the gap was increasing after uh-huh. your uh, graduation 2019 se 2022 ho gaya uh-huh. how did you deal with the stress that it's been almost 3 years aur ye badhta ja raha hai to kaise deal karu main isse sabse pehle to yahi tha ki like uh, now i can manage because covid was there in between so i can justify my gap year ki okay 19 may i did my graduation 20 was covid year in 2020 i uh, Uh, attempted nabard and clear but if the gap year would have been more so it will must be very very much depressing to justify that hmm. so i just just made my mind i have to clear anyhow this examination at this attempt otherwise like i have to deal with various things the course and the syllabus is also huge and stress factor will also come so now till now it was not there so much but yes it was there but i managed uh, through like there is your video also and all how to deal with the stress and all how not to overthink that is mm. the most important thing that mm. helps manage the stress mm. so uh, talking about failures yes. you said that you did not clear rbi prelims in 19 mm-hmm. we'll be talking about that also and you did not clear sebi mains yes. in 2021 yes 
तो ऐसा नहीं है कि पहला एग्जाम दी और क्लियर हो गया सो वॉट वेंट रॉन्ग इन दीज एग्जाम द फर्स्ट थिंग आई से इज द लैक ऑफ प्रॉपर स्ट्रेटेजी एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज टू वॉट नॉट टू स्टडी इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट देन वॉट टू स्टडी सो यू हैव टू वेरी वी वेरी क्लियर दैट वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट वॉट इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट यू हैव टू फिल्टर आउट फ्रॉम द वेरियस सोर्सेज और वेरियस मटीरियल्स एंड यू हैव टू लाइक जस्ट बी पिन पॉइंट टू योर स्ट्रेटेजी सो दैट थिंग्स आई हैव लर्न ड्यूरिंग दीज टू एग्जामिनेशन and in nabard this was my first attempt and i used all my experience and knowledge whatever i have gained in these two years and just clear it uh, right away uh this was your first attempt in nabard you don't have any background in ard uh-huh. or esi also so uh agar hum phase 2 pe aa jaye seedha phase 1 se pehle to phase 2 mein what did you not study and what did you study aapne kya sources ki use kiye kya padha aur kya nahi padha kya galti nahi kari जिसकी वजह से एग्जाम क्लियर हुआ सबसे पहली बात कि इन सब एग्जाम्स में सोर्सेज को लिमिट करना होता है इन सब एग्जाम और सभी को कोई सब एग्जाम्स में यू ऑलवेज हियर दैट यू हैव टू लिमिट योर सोर्स एंड फोकस ऑन रिवीजन सो आई स्टार्टेड विद ए आर टी लाइक गॉन थ्रू द वेरियस वीडियोज ऑफ योर अदर सोर्सेज अंडरस्टूड द कॉन्सेप्ट वन थ्रू द नोट आई मेट लाइक स्मॉल स्मॉल नोट आई मेट फॉर द रिविजन एंड to check your uh, uh, understanding and what actual you have matlab uh, 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 graphs after that those we you give your mock test and test to get a real analysis uh, exam uh, like uh, questions you have to attempt and for esi uh, you have to go through the government schemes because now it is all about the schemes then rbi and current affairs so you have to just limit your source have the right uh, strategy have right approach and focus on revision this is the most important thing you don't have to run away like i always hear uh, uh, have a current affair of 8 months 9 months but whatever government schemes old schemes are being asked but they are being asked only because there is a news in recent days 3 months 4 months hmm. and if it, even if you uh, read those 3 month 4 month current affair very thoroughly you will have that uh, knowledge and gist of cracking the questions that you don't know through the elimination or whatever Uh, guessing process you will develop ultimately hmm aur kya nahi pada what made what did you make sure ki main ye nahi padunga ya is tarah se nahi padunga uh, there are always certain uh, uh, list of the chapters that hmm. are more important everyone says you also say other coaching you also say like in ard for example hmm. you have to read animal husbandry for sure hmm. agronomy for sure hmm. these are the certain chapters from which the question will definitely come hmm. so you first make the list of those chapters you study that and then if the time permits after the revision you go with the other chapters also and you have to filter out from the notes also or whatever material is provided in the market or the coaching institute ki you will get uh, that uh, experience after the so much failure or uh, uh, reading from the other source that okay this is too much theoretical this will not be as there is something data this i have to remember or something more factual or something more important is there that is more important and for that i say mock test from the mock test you will know that okay from this chapter this 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 thing is being asked and i have to read all this first and then you will see what to study next i think both important that mm-hmm. that you have done uh, coming to the descriptive part because yes, we were talking about it a little bit jo aapne kiya wo kafi interesting tha mm-hmm. so can you talk about a little bit uh, you were talking about chapter wise questions and mm-hmm. their model answers let's hear about that because that's very important yeah so actually uh, for descriptive i frankly speaking i started after pre mm-hmm. so before pre i didn't worry about descriptive at all uh, so what i did after uh, pre ki there is around 17 18 chapters in esi and 17 18 chapters in ard mm-hmm. and per chapters three questions and model answer uh i read first and highlighted the points data what are the arguments and data I mean fact right. then the second attempt i made the notes of that bullet points notes for every chapter and in that second part through uh, while writing only you have uh, the revision is also uh, being done simultaneously and the third time you can revise that those uh, uh, 36 or 37 chapters like in one and a half hour easily so i did three four times that revision and everything was in my my mind and during the final day means uh, day after the english examination you would get a gap mm-hmm. so 
so in that half an hour I revised all those things the data was in my mind argument with is my it was in my mind and i used that very effectively and very well that really worked for me to jo 1.5 ghante ka target hota hai in mm -hmm. 90 minutes you have to attempt the entire paper mm -hmm. normally abhi hamare live sessions are going on for rbi mm -hmm. kyunki exam aane wala hai yes, and in those live sessions main writing kara raha hu students ko to mm -hmm. so, 90 minute ka ab humne shuru kiya hai ki 90 minute main baitha hu aur aap likhiye aur fir main check karunga तो उसमें वन ऑफ द मेजर कमेंट्स और आर्ग्यूमेंट्स ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स इज कि सर 90 मिनट्स में ना दो ही क्वेश्चन हो पाए तो हाउ डिड यू मेक श्योर कि 90 मिनट्स में आपका पेपर पूरा हो रहा है डिड यू आल्सो फेल फी यू नो डिड यू आल्सो वेंट थ्रू डिड यू आल्सो गो थ्रू दिस प्रॉब्लम कि मेरा पहले दो ही क्वेश्चन हो पा रहे हैं चार नहीं हो पा रहे ड्यूरिंग माई प्रिपरेशन फ्रेंकली स्पीकिंग आई वॉज ऑल्सो एबल टू डू ओनली टू और थ्री क्वेश्चन बिकॉज ड्यूरिंग दैट प्रोसेस वेन नेवर यू राइट एनी क्वेश्चन आप सर्च करते हो मटेरियल कभी इंटरनेट से कभी इससे एंड यू ट्राई टू बी द बेस्ट कि हमें स्ट्रक्चर फॉलो करना है द बेस्ट लिखना है तो उसमें फिर वो टाइम लग जाता है क्योंकि उसमें रिसर्च भी इन्वॉल्व होता है आप एडिट करते हो डिलीट करते हो टाइम लगता है तो इसलिए नहीं पता बट आई गारंटी यू आई नेवर हर्ड एनी फ्रॉम एनी वनर की इन दैट वन एंड हाफ आवर यू के नॉट अटेम्प्ट फोर क्वेश्चन एंड एवरेज स्पीड ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव वर्ड्स पर मिनट इज एनफ for like writing all the four question it's not that that you have to write uh, 600 or 400 words mm -hmm. quality should be ma uh, is what that matters and uh, diversity in the answer mm -hmm. so you will get through that diversity matlab ek holistic approach jisme aap sari cheeze cover kar rahe hain yeah yeah you have to deal like uh, in msp like for example if you writing question was of msp so you have to deal with uh, from the government side also from farmer side also from employment and employment side also mm -hmm. from these are the approaches like uh, diversity and creativity yes i think very important very important pre pe aate hain let's come back a little and mm -hmm. try, try and understand prelims so prelims ki taiyari when did you start mm -hmm. and how did you change because the pattern changed this year how did you change your preparation uh, so actually i took this pattern change very positively for me uh, like uh, it's always good to have a new pattern and and we just need to put extra effort to crack those because majority of the student are in the panic so you have to take advantage of that so the first 100 which is english qre quant reasoning english decision making computer and these are the sections so i guess i just practice some few mock tests and given the test for qre and you just need to qualify for that and uh, and there were no pre decided cut off also so you have to take in mind ki okay like out of 140 plus or 50 at least 50 we can get so that it can be easily achieved through english uh, 15 marks for in, uh, reasoning and uh, computer and decision making and for other part uh, ga ard and esi we have to go through the government schemes uh, like paper was in november uh, september so like from march i targeted government schemes current affair of last 3 to 4 months and uh, my approach was ki okay like i analyzed the uh, previous year trend also like based on the cut off toppers usually uh, scores out of 40 10 to 12 mark in ard 15 to 16 17 marks in esi and ge also 13 14 marks so when you add up you will get like 45 50 they are getting so in no case the cut off could have been uh, 55 more than 55 so what i did ki okay i have studied well i have my preparation in a right strategy i am confident enough so i'll attempt maximum question so i attempted 95 and took a margin of like 35 question agar galat bhi hote to koi dikkat nahi i'll land up to 50 to 53 and easily uh, clear my cut off hmm. but majority student attempts 70 65 or in this kind of examination when options are very tricky uh, 12 15 20 galat hone koi badi baat nahi hai तो आपको अटेम्प्ट्स बढ़ा के और बैकअप बाय विथ योर स्ट्रांग प्रिपरेशन ऐसा नहीं कि बिना प्रिपरेशन करे बस कर दिया तो फिर वो नहीं होगा तो दिस वाज माय स्ट्रेटजी टू ओके यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एलिमिनेशन नाउ इट इज वेरी यूजफुल बोथ इन फेज 1 एज वेल एज फेज 2 हाउ डिड यू यूज एलिमिनेशन फॉर योर एडवांटेज बिकॉज़ हम स्टूडेंट्स को बताते हैं बट इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड तुम शायद बताओगे तो प्रोबब्ली दे माइट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट एग्जैक्टली how did you use it in the examination uh, elimination is something that you will not get overnight you have to practice that mm. so through i gave uh, around like almost every day 10 question or 20 question of esi and ard mm. 
and I used to del deliberately attempt all the questions, 20, 20 questions. Mm. And from that also you get the art of elimination, what are the correct options, what are the wrong options. So you, by judging, by guessing, by analyzing the question, you will get through that. But you have to practice for like one and a half hour continuously. So in mains also, there were around nine to 10 questions which you could not have attempted. Nobody uh, knows uh, that nine to 10 answer. But through elimination only you get to that those kind of answers. Mm. So that practice, your knowledge from other uh, whatever you have studied, so that will help you. So it's not that you have to do like this particular thing to uh, understand the elimination process. It will come with time mm. and with practice, and you will not uh, like feel like okay, I have got the talent of elimination. Mm. On on the exam day only you will. Uh, uh, like feel ki, okay, I have done this correct, I have done this wrong. So elimination mein sabse bada jo doubt hota hai, wo hota hai, that we have two options left and now we don't know which one to pick. Hmm. Ya fir aise questions attempt karne hai ya nahi karne hai. To us situation mein kya karein? Kyunki wo mere paas actually bahut sare students hai, jo ya, ya to waiting list mein baitne hai ya fir mains ke baad nahi clear kiye hai. Hmm. Aur wo aise hi students hai jo kahi na kahi elimination nahi sikh pa rahe hai. Hmm. Jiski wajah se unki accuracy sahi nahi hai. So, unka doubt bar bar hota hai, sir, there are 5 6 questions jahan pe do mein main fas jata hu and i don't know whether i should be attempting it or not so did you use your intuition there ki ha mere ko lag raha hai sahi to maar dete hain ya fir koi ek strategy thi uske liye i pure intuition to nahi tha lekin maine fir kaha ki agar aapne sahi tarike se apna jo bhi baaki ki cheeze pad rakhi hai so, you can say that positive intuition will come, but that is not a correct word, intuition will come without any backup. So, you are doing something, you use knowledge in that knowledge. Okay, this cannot be the answer, this 3 is eliminated based on this and this too, so probability is high for this. But this probability will only get through like your knowledge from other things. And hmm. that is false. You like you have studied government scheme, 50, 60 government schemes. Hmm. So from knowledge from that 50, 60 government scheme, you can use on that kind of a question. Or hmm. current affair, you have studied so much for five, six uh, uh, months. So you you have to use that knowledge for hmm. that to get uh, that uh, positive intuition and that correct. Hmm. So in means also like uh, I attempted 19 out of 20 in two markers, hmm. and my three questions were wrong, that was also direct question, mm -hmm. there was no any into that information based question. Mm -hmm. So my like I, that worked actually for me. Mm -hmm. so you have to be like, you have to, uh, don't have to think much about ki, okay, I have to uh, do elimination in the final exam, so just leave that, you just focus on your preparation, your knowledge, information gathering, it will happen with time. You have mm -hmm. to just practice that, give mock test again and again attempt all questions in the mock test because mm. it is nothing like maths and reasoning okay you have to do increase your speed you have much more time mm. you just have need to gather the information mm. nothing else yeah. before we move forward i think it's the right time that i tell all the students who are watching this that sumit has cleared the exam clear kiya hai. his strategy is very clear very sharp and this is pure hard work ke basis and i take a lot of interviews leta hun, so i can figure out ki bhai, किस स्टूडेंट ने कितना हार्ड वर्क किया है किस स्टूडेंट ने कितना स्मार्ट वर्क बोल लीजिए या फिर बोल लीजिए कि उनका बैकग्राउंड है बहुत स्मार्ट रहे हैं हमेशा से तो निकलना ही निकलना था किस स्टूडेंट को एग्रीकल्चर की नॉलेज थी या फिर इंडियन इकोनॉमी बहुत साल से पढ़ता आ रहा है कौन सा स्टूडेंट यूपीएससी वाला है तो ये सारे ही खूबियां इन, इनमें नहीं थी बड़ी वन देन ही क्लियर थी एग्जामिनेशन प्योरली बेस्ड अपॉन इज हार्ड वर्क तो ये एक दो साल की इसको तपस्या बोल लीजिए इसको hard work bol lije, dedication bol lije, whatever you want to call it. But it pays off. It pays off is some of the other way. Inhone tayari kari RBI ko leke, selection hua hai nabad mein, but it has paid off. Okay. To, aap tayari karenge, mehnat karenge. Aapne aap se honestly poochye aaj ki kya mein apna 100% de raha hun, nahi de raha hun. If you're not doing that, that means there is a scope of improvement. So start doing that. Start working on that. Let's move forward. Interview pe aate hain. To, इंटरव्यू में व्हाट वाज द एक्सपीरियंस लाइक व्हाट वाज द क्वेश्चंस आस्क्ड थोड़ा सा उसके बारे में समझ लेते हैं बिफोर मूविंग टू द एक्चुअल इंटरव्यू लाइक आई वुड लाइक टू से दैट देयर इज लॉट ऑफ हैवक इन द मार्केट और द ग्रुप कि योर इंटरव्यू विल बी बेस्ड ऑन दिस काइंड ऑफ अप्रोच दे विल आस्क यू दिस क्वेश्चन बट आई लाइक टू से दैट देयर योर इंटरव्यू विल बी टोटली बेस्ड ऑन योर बैकग्राउंड 
and it will be totally based on you. Mm-hmm. It has nothing to do with previous candidate, nothing to do with the other candidates. So you have to just make sure you get sealed yourself from every side, every angle. Mm-hmm. So I did that only. Mm-hmm. I used to ask, I remember, sir, uh, Nawad annual report, parna hai, kaise parhe, mm-hmm. parhe ya na parhe. And I decided after two days only, it's nine chapter, just read it once like a novel. Mm-hmm. Same strategy I approach, make a note of that, all those nine chapters, and everything was in my mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, all data, all facts, figure, Nawad website in the same way. And most important, I, what I did, ki, I used to write list of cross questions. Mm-hmm. Like around 70, 80 cross questions from like, if you read like, uh, annual report of Nawad website, you will get to like, for example, farmer clubs. Mm-hmm. You don't know about that, so you just write down farmer clubs in your list of process and you don't see it at that time only mm. and at the later stage you see mm. from your like background from the um, from the btech so i prepared for that also so you have to like prepare yourself from all the angles so that when you enter the room you be confident enough about everything mm. it's not that they'll ask you like two percent of the what i prepared for interview they asked me but i was confident enough mm. okay you ask anything i'll give the answer and uh, frankly speaking, everyone says no work experience, uh, they can ask you anything, so it has uh, nothing to do with that. Mm. So, freshers also can crack and fresher can also do uh, very good, so I assure you with that. Mm. You talked about uh, creating questions, yeah. now that is something that uh, we try to inculcate in the students, mm. but it is very difficult remotely, because you are sitting in someone else, I am sitting in someone else. So now we are trying to bridge that gap somehow. Can you explain a little on it? Because abhi or interviews bhi chal rahe hain, mm-hmm. So what do you mean when you say that you converted the content into questions and answers? Uh, I mean ki uh, first part is the bio data that from there you have to create uh, your questions also around 100, 200 based on the bio data. Hmm. But I am saying ki uh, when you study you need to know Nabad when you are going to Nabad. Hmm. For that you have to uh, read website from the from the website and from the annual report. Hmm. So from there also you have to understand the concept, data, whatever is important and uh, whatever important things or important information is there. Hmm. So you just have to jot down those information hmm. and also uh, like questions when you talk about transcript is important only for the important question and that you can study and that you can uh, like prepare in advance. Hmm. So that kind of a thing is there and question, uh, if I say precisely, you have to act like an interviewer also. Hmm. You, okay, I can ask you this answer like an interview. Hmm. So these are the approach I followed. Matlab, I talk to myself much during hmm. the interview. So like, what are the questions they can ask? Okay, this they can ask this also. Hmm. So these are the cross question I have to filter out. Mm-hmm. And this, and one more important thing is driving the interview. The concept mm-hmm. of driving the interview. So I practice those kind of a thing during my mocks also. Mm-hmm. One of my mock interview from some institute, mm-hmm. they told me that you haven't given me any chance to ask new questions. Mm-hmm. And in the main interview, I also tried the same thing, and it really worked. Mm-hmm. Like I used to put on deliberately, like uh, I put, I remember. Farmer Club and FPO. They asked me what is the difference, mm-hmm. what are they. Mm-hmm. I deliberately put Banking Regulation Amendment, they mm-hmm. asked me. I deliberately put FPO as a Registered Society and FPC. They asked me the which one is better. Mm-hmm. So this, you need to drive your interview. Mm-hmm. So these kind of things will come by the mock interview and by the practice. And you have to shield yourself through all the side, all the aspects, be it your college, be it your uh, NABAD website or any technical things you need to understand. So what were the questions that were being uh, asked? Basically, uh, it started with, uh, since I am from the IT background, so mm-hmm. directly they hit key, what are you doing here? Since you are the IT, uh, why NABAD and why not IT uh, specialized stream when we have IT specialized post? Mm-hmm. Why in general stream? Mm-hmm. So I gave a very logical answer ki how IT and agriculture are moving uh, parallelly and uh, our college motto was also to study IT and mathematics to serve the society and NABAD is the best platform. I don't think it, there can be no better platform than NABAD which serves 70% of India's population. Hmm. So this kind of logic I used and some cross question happened on that only. So why not corporate job? So, so I, I defended it very well. Hmm. So, and then from the self expression and the self, I 
मतलब रियलाइज कि ओके इज़ वेरी मच सेटिस्फाइड देन द नेक्स्ट मेंबर देर वॉज अ मैम सी आस्ट अबाउट माई होम टाउन आई बिलोंग टू दरभंगा सी आस्ट वट कैन यू टेल अबाउट दरभंगा वट नबार्ड इज डूइंग सो आई टोल्ड अबाउट दरभंगा नबार्ड वट इट इज डूइंग एंड आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर दैट ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रेडिंग आई इंड्यूज एफ पी ओ फार्मर क्लब बेस्ड ऑन दैट ओनली वट इज फार्मर क्लब वट इज एफ पी ओ वट इज द डिफरेंस हु इज कॉन्सिडरिंग दैट हु इज रनिंग दैट एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अबाउट एफ पी ओ एंड एफ पी सी तो देन सी हैंडेड ओवर टू द नेक्स्ट फाइनल मेम्बर एंड ही आस्क अबाउट मी अबाउट आर आर बीज एंड कोपरेटिव बैंक स्ट्रक्चर वाई आर आर बीज नंबर आर डिक्रीजिंग एंड वट डू से इफ इट इज डिक्रीजिंग इट इज गुड और बैड वट इज योर ओपिनियन वट कैन बी डन एंड एट द लास्ट डे आस्क की एनी अदर थिंग यू सेयर सो आई सेयर थ्री फोर सजेशंस और इनोवेशंस दैट कैन बी डन Hmm. and i try to put my background my it background uh, that how it can be useful in the organization like nabard so hmm. i sounded like that only hmm. so they you just have need to prove yourself your background what you have done whether in college or whether in job you have done it very uh, nicely and you are worth it so whenever you come in nabard you will put that sort of effort only hmm. so you have to prove that hmm. so these were the questions they asked I think that's a very interesting uh, set of questions uh, mm-hmm. जो तुमने बताए हैं यहाँ एंड दी टॉक ऑफ ड्राइविंग द इंटरव्यू दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट वेरी डिफिकल्ट जब आपके सामने पांच मेंबर बैठे वेरी रिस्की ऑल्सो वेरी रिस्की ऑल्सो क्योंकि वो समझ जाते हैं कि ये ड्राइव करने की कोशिश कर रहा है फिर वो उसका उल्टा चलते हैं तो सुमित बिफोर एंडिंग द इंटरव्यू एनी थिंग स्पेसिफिकली दैट यू वुड वॉन्ट टू से टू द स्टूडेंट्स एनी थिंग दैट यू वुड वॉन्ट टू शेयर विद द स्टूडेंट्स जो अभी तैयारी कर रहे हैं उनको कुछ एडवाइस देना चाहो Uh, I would like to say uh, one thing only that this kind of examination is every examination is uh, big in itself, but you don't have to make that examination big by through your thinking or your strategy. You have to be very simple, very straightforward. Be uh, make a broader plan and just work on that. Don't overthink. Don't make plans every day. Mm-hmm. Don't over plan. It will like uh, exhaust you or uh, make you feel tired or anxiety. Mm-hmm. and whatever is not there in your hand like what questions will be asked uh, what if the notification doesn't come when the notification will come mm-hmm. this kind of thing is not there in your hand so you have to just uh, uh, focus on your preparation mm-hmm. like i say ki in nabard there was a surprise in mains ki they asked a compl- uh, compulsory question of 15 mm-hmm. marks mm-hmm. if that would have been the case that we would have known on the be- beforehand Uh, definitely there must have been a how how will we prepare that and all but it came and we wrote the answer very easily and it, we cracked it mm. so you don't have to overthink overthinking is something and over planning is something we should take care of it mm. and just self believe whatever strategy you made mm. just uh, have a belief on that ki okay this is good one i'll go through with that and uh, there are various uh, a uh, guider like anush sir and all from time to time they come on the youtube session and you have to listen to them also and listen to everyone make a plan of yourself and just follow that okay. thanks a lot thanks a lot i think bahut achhi baatein boli hain overthinking is a major problem abhi yes. so the fact that you overcame that i think yeah. that's very inspiring yeah. a small gift from my side uh, this year we are giving out uh, watches to the students smart watches मैंने भी रिसेंटली स्टार्ट किया तो एंड आई रियलाइज कि काफी यूजफुल है सो दिस इज फॉर यू थैंक यू सो मच सर एंड देर इज अ बुक आई ट्राई एंड रीड सम बुक्स एंड वट एवर आई रीड आई ट्राई टू गिव इट टू स्टूडेंट सो दिस इज अ बुक रीवर्क विच आई रेड रिसेंटली सो दिस इज ऑल्सो फॉर यू थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू सो मच बहुत अच्छा लगा सुमित तुमसे मिलकर और बिफोर एंडिंग मैं बताना चाहूंगा सुमित दो हजार उन्नीस में मेरे पास आए थे और इन्होंने आज मुझे बताया मुझे थोड़ा सोचने के बाद याद आया कि हाँ ये आए थे और आए थे थोड़ा स्केप्टिकल थे कि कौन है कैसा पढ़ाते हैं क्या करते हैं और बैठ के थोड़ी बात करी थी और उसके बाद आज फिर मिल रहे हैं दूसरी बार नाउ इज ऑन दी अदर साइड ऑफ द टेबल एज इज सेड तो आप भी तैयारी करिए यू विल आल्सो बी ऑन दी अदर साइड वेरी वेरी सुन एंड वेरी सर्टन अबाउट दैट ऑल द बेस्ट गाइज टेक केयर बाय